you how we can use SCADA to autoscale applications uh, based on Prometheus metrics. In this particular example, I will use OpenShift Monitoring Prometheus instance, uh, which uses Thanos, Thanos to expose those metrics. If we look at this diagram, this diagram should basically cover, cover the whole scenario. We have an, our application, and this application has been deployed as a standard Kubernetes deployment. User then makes a HTTP request to this application, and this application is exposing Prometheus metrics about the incoming uh, HTTP request. Standard thing. Then we have Prometheus that actually scrapes those metrics and, uh, and exposes them. And finally, then we have Keda uh, that can use these metrics to actually uh, scale out our application. In order uh, to be able for Keda to actually scrape those metrics from, from Thanos, uh, we need to authenticate. So we will need to we will need to authenticate Keda with Thanos, and then sh everything should be fine. Uh, there is one thing worth mentioning: uh, in this specific setup, we cannot scale down to zero replicas of our application because the application itself is the source of met metrics. So if we scale down to zero, there is nothing that exposes the the existing metric or the current metrics. So Prometheus don't know. What should, what, should, what should scrape, and then finally Keda doesn't have any metrics to, to be able to scale out. So the minimum in this case is one replica. Before we start, we need to be sure that uh, OpenShift Monitoring Prometheus instance is able to scrape metrics from user-defined namespaces. To do that, uh, we, can, we can check this config map, and we can see that the, uh, that the, in a, that the user workload uh, scraping has been enabled. Just to be sure that everything is uh, up and running, we can, we can check uh, running pods in this namespace, in monitoring namespace. We can see that the Prometheus user workload pods are running and the same for Thanos. So seem so like that everything is set. Now we can uh, take a look at the actual deployment of our application. So as we can see, pretty standard Kubernetes thing. It's a deployment. Uh, it is using this image, which really just holds very simple Go application that uh, accepts um, HTTP requests and exposes the metrics about this about these requests. We can check it. Uh, check the sources. It's very simple. It just counts the uh, incoming uh, total number of HTTP requests uh, on port eighty eighty. Nothing fancy. Okay, so go, go back to our deployment. So we have the deployment, we have the service uh, targeting the ATD board, and finally we have service monitor resource uh, that exposes the metrics to, to Prometheus. So now we can deploy these resources. So let me do that. So Application has been deployed, so just double checking on the on the diagram. So we have the application deployed. Uh, we we are exposing Prometheus metrics. Prometheus has been set up to to actually scrape those metrics. Just to be sure, we can we can double check that the application is running correctly. So let me do that. We can check the logs of the application. We can see that the uh, HTTP server started. So this part is ready. Now we need to enable Keda uh, to scrape those metrics and to be able uh, for Keda to be able to actually scrape the metrics as I mentioned before, we need to authenticate with the Thanos instance which is, which is sitting in front of Prometheus. Uh, to do that, we can create a simple service account and use the token of this service account to actually authenticate with Thanos instance. So let me create service account. We, we can call it Thanos, and now we need we need to get the the token. So now we can see that we have tokens. So I'll just copy this token. Okay. So we have the token. So we, we know how to authenticate with with Prometheus. 
for authentication, CADA uh, uses a special object, object which is called uh, trigger authentication, which can host, uh, which can ho host like the authentication specific stuff and can be then can be then uh, used by CADA. So in this uh, in this trigger authentication object, what we will do, we will just uh, we will just reference to the to the to the secrets that has been created for us um, with the with the service account and just what we need to do we just need to update the 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 token so i just copied the token name so now we have a token we have the token with the with the we have the token and we have we have the ca that's it so uh, now we can we can deploy this resource This, so I will, I will deploy this, this resource so we can see it's been created, all set. And we have a, we have the service account. Uh, we have the reference to the service account for for Keda. And now we need to actually enable this service account to to scrape metrics from uh, from from Prometheus. Before we do that, we will define a simple role basically for, for this service account that uh, enables scraping metrics. So I will just I will just deploy this role and we will use this uh, role binding resource to assign this, this role to the service account that we have created. So we have created uh, Thanos service account uh, in a namespace demo. And we will also create this role binding in the namespace demo. So we have a role, we have a role binding that assigns this role to the Thanos uh, uh, service account. I will apply these two resources. So I will create a role. And I will create the role binding. Okay, so if we look back to the uh, diagram, we have the application deployed, exposes metrics to Prometheus, and we have defined authentication for the Thanos service account to be able to actually get the metrics from, from Prometheus. Now, uh, and we have a reference in the trigger, trigger authentication to this, uh, to this service account. So the last bit is the actual actual uh, CADA stuff. CADA uses a resource called scaled object. And in this scaled object, we can define the minimum replicas, maximum replicas. We define the reference to the, to the application that we would like to scale. And then importantly, there is a trigger section. There could be multiple triggers in one scaled object. In this case, we have uh, one trigger of type Prometheus. Um, this is the the Thanos Querier uh, address on our server, and we need, just need to let it know which namespace uh, we are going to query for the metrics. And uh, in here we can see that we have a simple a simple Prometheus query that uh, counts the HTTP request. We have some this threshold defined, and uh, lastly the authentication uh, is being used from the trigger trigger authentication resource that we have defined before. So we are just referencing this trigger authentication in this scaled object. This way you can have one trigger authentication that will host the authentication to your service and you can have multiple scale objects that reference the same same trigger authentication. So the authentication stuff is uh, on one place. So let's deploy this scaled object. So the scale object has been created. Uh, we can check, we can check the status of the of the deployment to see if everything everything is fine. So let's wait, and we can see we can see that the deployment has been uh, successful and the scale object is ready. It means that it has been able to connect to Prometheus instance, and everything is set for scaling. The active status means that uh, it basically marks when the scale object is active, which means when subscaling is happening. 
obviously because we don't we don't have any metrics coming to the to the or we don't have any requests coming to the application there's no metrics no scaling is happening so the actually to actually see the scaling in action we need to generate some load i'll have a very simple kubernetes job that it just pulls our application in the more in space and sends a request over there so i will just create create this uh, this kubernetes job to start start uh, to start the load to actually see the the scaling we can we can we can watch watch the deployment to see the number of replicas at the moment we can see that there is just one replica ready so the application is up and up and ready for 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 a scaling It will it will take some some time before the uh, actual scaling happens because uh, Prometheus queries those metrics and we we are doing the calculation over time. Now we can see that the application has been already auto scaled to four replicas because we have generated some load. And if that, that won't be enough, we will see that the application will be uh, scaled even to more replicas. Okay, we can see that it has been scaled to eight replicas. And uh, the maximum we have defined is 10 replicas, so we can see that the load was too high, so we have already auto-scaled the application to 10 replicas. So we can, if we get the pods, we can see that we have 10 pods running with our application. 